Caitlin Young advances in the tournament. She will take on the winner of our upcoming match between Jan Finney and Misha Tate. G5.TV's Tale of the Tape shows Jan Finney seven years older than her opponent Misha Tate. Both identical in weight, cut about the same amount of weight, but it's Misha Tate with a 4-1 amateur record coming in. Finney jumped right into professional fighting just three years ago. This will be a unique contrast of styles. It could either be very exciting or very laid back, so to speak. Misha Tate on the left in the black top. Jan Finney in the pink top. Finney will look to stand. Misha Tate, outstanding wrestler out of the Pacific Northwest, is going to look to take this one to the ground, I believe. Finney looking a lot more seasoned these days. Nice combination by Jan Finney and it's Misha Tate with double underhooks. Finney counters with an underhook of her own. Finney's been one of those women who jumped right into to pro fighting. Didn't build herself at all. People sometimes criticize her for her record, but I mean she's fought women like Julie Kedzie uh, on multiple occasions. Kedzie no slouch. Finney also fought Tamachan in Costa Rica for Bodog fight. Was doing great beating Tamachan and uh, just got caught, made a simple mistake, and uh, Tamachan was able to, to uh, take control of it and get the win. Finney is always one of those women who's who is uh, on the bubble. She could she could have a stellar performance one night and just run into the wrong opponent. Misha Tate, brand new fighter here in Hook and Shoot, and you see some of the power and wrestling ability. Both of these two just looking for that position to either get this to the ground. Finney, I would like to see push off and use her combinations. I like to see Misha Tate. Oh, nice knee to the face. Jen Finney has her in trouble. And Misha Tate took a killer knee right to the face. I'm not sure if she was dazed or stunned or not. It had to do some damage. I saw her drop down to one knee. As we said, Tate, an outstanding wrestler. Very, very young, only 20 years of age. Yesterday, she was uh, somewhat incoherent. The, the girl cut so much weight that uh, a lot of times even men will come very slow and delusional uh, at the point of weigh-ins, and she was no different. Look at Finney. This is something you wouldn't have seen out of Jan Finney a couple of years ago is trying to work her legs up high and utilizing her guard. Finney's won a couple of matches by armbar. Misha Tate will have great hip movement being a wrestler. But I've been told that her weak point is her stand up. End of round number one. Brian Caraway in Misha Tate's corner. Mike Pat and Jan Finney. Let's take a look back. See, Jan Finney clearly wants to keep this fight standing. Pumping the jab. Nice knee to the face of uh, Misha Tate. Jan Finney nearly takes her back for a brief moment. You ready? You ready? Let's fight. Oh, nice leg kick by Jan Finney. And Tate, she's not afraid to stay in there. Oh, nice leg kick by Tate. And the two are starting to uh, exchange combinations here. Oh, Finney lands one hard. Oh, 
Vinny with another leg kick. It's Misha Tate. Going for a double leg. Then switching to a single leg. Almost, she may have it. Vinny trying to sprawl and cross face. Look at the determination of Misha Tate. Driving through. Look at Finney. Great sprawl. But she gets taken down anyway by Misha Tate. Very hard fight to score. Especially the first round. There was a feeling out process. Jan Finney landed that knee. And again, I'm not sure if that dropped Misha Tate. Or if Tate says, I got to get it to the ground, I got to get it there quick. Oh, Finney. That arm bar is close to being secured. Tate trying to power her way out of it. I believe her elbow is out of danger. Oh, you see the uh, look of pain on Misha Tate's face. This could be all over. Finney lets it go. Finney is one of those women on any given night. She could beat some of the top 10 135s in the world. See some of the crowd looking at the knees to the tailbone. For more information on the women of Hook and Shoot, you can always check out www.gfight.tv. One of the best sources for women's mixed martial arts, whether you're a fighter, a fan, or just looking to learn more about women's MMA as we come to the end of round number two, a very, very stale round. For both, Misha Tate may got may have this one just uh, just on the takedown alone. But Jan Finney in the middle of the round, she was going for an armbar. Looked like she had it extended. Looked like she had it in a catch position. There you see the look on Misha Tate's face, acknowledging she was in trouble. Third and deciding round. The elimination rounds are three minutes each, three rounds. The finals later on tonight. Oh, nice right hand by Misha Tate. Finney is very dangerous with the uppercuts. Nice leg kick by Finney. And another. And another, but that one's caught. And Finney's dumped down on the mat. Now it is Misha Tate in side control or side mount, whatever you want to call it. This is going to be a very hard match to call if this one goes the distance. Are, are the judges watching the takedowns? Are they watching the, the stand-up of Jan Finney? Was the knee to the head in round number one, was that enough for Finney to win that round? And even the same in the second round as Misha Tate scored a couple takedowns. Jan Finney had what is called a catch. It was not signaled by the referee Sean Brockmo as a catch. Wasn't a full blown armbar, but Jan Finney is going for submissions. Look at this knee in the belly. This is called knee ride in Jiu Jitsu. Knee on the stomach, a very dominant position. You see Misha Tate trying to go over for Mount. Jan Finney gets her left leg through, isn't going to let her have it that easily. Up 
As we said, the elimination rounds are three minutes each for three rounds. The final will consist of five minute rounds. Coming up next, the winner of this bout will face Caitlin Young of Minnesota or Susie Smith of Indiana. Looks like Misha Tate was going to pass guard there. Jan Finney once again not letting her get it. And a great regard by Finney. You see Misha Tate trying to push her right leg through. And now she has done so. Side mount position. I, in all honesty, I'd rather be mounted in a fight than give up side control like this. Finney looking very frustrated. As once again, not a lot of offense being displayed. That's going to be the end of this fight. Another round where the styles have clashed and not in a positive way. And we have a judging issue here. If this goes to the later rounds as declared a draw, Sean Brockmo will have to step in and pick the winner. Jan Finney says good job. Tamisha Tate, these styles clashed and not in a very positive way. I feel bad for Finney giving a valiant effort and performance. Misha Tate advancing. She will clearly have a tough task ahead of her with Caitlin Young, who spent less than a minute inside of the ring. And now we move on to the